we want to look at how to balance the equation. And the first method that I want to show you is the table method. For most students who have never ever done anything with chemistry, they really like this because it's a very visual method. Um, what does it mean to balance an equation? It means that we need to have the same number of elements on the left as we do on the right hand side. It also means that when you use balancing equations you only use coefficients. Those are those big numbers that go in front of everything else. The subscripts we use to balance back in nomenclature. So when you do a table you want to kind of draw a little jaggedy line where the arrow is. You want to list out your elements that you have on both sides for each part of the equation. Now on the left I have two nitrogens and four hydrogens and in this first one I have one nitrogen and three hydrogens and two nitrogens. So my total number of nitrogens on the right is three and three hydrogens. Now we want the number of nitrogens and hydrogens to equal one another out. So what are we going to do? Well let's see. If I look at nitrogen first, I have two here and I have three here. What is the least common multiple of two and three? So the least common multiple of two and three, it's six, that's right. So what we want to do is we need to figure out what do we need to multiply two by to get six? Well, we need to multiply by three. So we're going to put a three as our coefficient. Now that changes everything. That's going to be three times two is six and three times four is twelve. And over here I also need to figure out how to get six. Well I've got two here and one here. Hmm. Well I know I need twice as many but I'm not really sure where to put anything. So let's go ahead and let's look at what happened to our hydrogens. So I've got twelve on this side. How are you going to get twelve over here? Well three times four. So I'm going to put a four right up here in front. So that changes the nitrogen from one to four and the hydrogen from three to twelve. Now I have four plus two is six and the hydrogen is twelve from above. And we notice now that the nitrogens are the same and the hydrogens are the same. So what you have right here is your balanced equation.